Namaste, Soul Tribe. Spiritual Healer here, back to give you another message. And this message tonight is going to be for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Spirit Guides and Angels, what do you have for the sign of Aries? Hmm. Knight of Cups, Aries. A Knight of Cups represents a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Page of Wands, message coming through from a Knight of Cups, from a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Mmm, Aries. Okay. Send the messages, Spirit, Guides, and Angels. What a sign of Pisces. Mmm, okay. It, it seems like that uh, Knight of Cups, Aries, has been spying on your social media, spying on you, asking about you to friends and family. Um... Searching you up somehow. Watching your YouTube channel if you have one, you know. This Knight of Cups is really spying on you, Aries. Okay, and he's coming. He's about to be coming through with a message. Mm. Money's coming. Mm. So it seems like, Aries, you got some money coming through. The money card came out. Okay, maybe that Knight of Cups is, you know, going to give you, send you a message. You know, trying to give you some money of some sort. You know, money's coming through. The money card came out. Give me some messages for the sign of Aries. Please and thank you, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus. Give me some messages. Spirit, guys, angels for the sign of Aries. Please and thank you. Give me some messages for the sign of Aries. Spirit, guys, and angels and, and guardians of the universe. Give Aries some messages. What's this money card? And who is this Knight of Cups that's fine on Aries, okay? Give Aries some clarity. Give me some messages. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah. Looks like some money's coming through, Aries. Okay. Looks like you're going to have some money coming through. Let's see what, what the Crystal Tarot has to say. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, give me some more messages for the sign of Aries, please, and thank you, regarding this money coming through and this Knight of Cups spying on them, okay? Give me some messages for the sign of Aries, the very lovely sign of Aries, my passionate fire signs, I love Aries people, Aries people are the truth. Give me some messages, spirit guides, angels, for the sign of Aries, I'm more rising, thank you, okay? Hmm. Spirit's just telling you, Aries, whatever it is that's coming towards you right now, they want you to go with the flow, okay? That's the Eight of Wands right there. Just go with the flow. Just go with it. You know, don't resist this change. Don't resist this message that's coming through, okay? Because Spirit said you were giving too much and not receiving, Aries. And now it's your turn to receive. So if this Knight of Cups guy wants to bring you some money, wants to give you a blessing, wants, you know, wants to just give you a handout and help you out here, Aries, don't be afraid to receive, okay? Because sometimes, you know, we can be, you know, we can be too prideful sometimes and not want to receive. But Spirit is telling you, just go with the flow and, and receive the blessings that's coming to you. Thank you, Spirit. Some more messages for the sign of Aries, Spirits, please and thank you. Thank you. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Page of Wands. This this usually means a message is coming through, okay? Just like we've seen with the other cards, a message is coming through, okay? Just let just receive the message, Aries, and hear the Knight of Cups out. Hear the person out and receive the message. And if they're offering you abundance, if they're offering you money, receive it. Go with the flow. Because spirits is bringing this to you, Aries. You know? Give me some messages. Spirit guides and angels. For the sign of Aries. Sun will rise in the Venus. Please and thank you, spirit guides. Give me some messages regarding this. Okay? You know, Aries, this is the Three of Swords. You know, this person, this person that's coming through to give you a blessing, to give you a reward, to give you a gift, something tangible, this person could have broke your heart. You know, that person could have broke your heart. That's why they're spying on you. But they're trying to come through to make things right, to fix it, to give you some sort of a gift, some sort of a blessing. You know, 
because they're feeling bad because they broke your heart. And they're trying to fix things with you. They're trying to mend things with you. Just receive it. Don't don't be so guarded, Aries. I know you've been hurt in the past because it shows right here. You know, but, you know, it's time to work on healing. It's time to work on forgiving. You know, when we forgive, we just receive more blessings. God tells us to. Give me the messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Any more messages, spirit guides, and angels for the sign of Aries, please and thank you. Any more messages, spirit guides, and angels for the sign of Aries. Mm hmm. The death card represents Scor the sign of Scorpio. And the death card also represents endings and transformations, endings of old cycles, endings. Laying down burdens. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if you're not dealing with a Scorpio, Aries. The Knight of Cups might be a Scorpio. A Scorpio person that's trying to mend things with you. A Scorpio person that's trying to fix things, you know. Or any other water sign. It can be a Pisces. It can be a Cancer. But I'm, I'm feeling Scorpio heavily. Spirits are saying a Scorpio. Okay? So you might have had a Scorpio that, that, that you cut off or that broke your heart. They're trying to come through and fix things with you, Aries. They're trying to come through and bring you some sort of a of a blessing, yeah. And they had to be strong to come forward because they just been spying. But they're about to come through. They see you as a strong person. They see you as that female taming that line. They see you as the only one that can tame them. And they're willing to come through with the gift of money. They're willing to come through with the gift of abundance. You know, just receive it. Just hear them out. You know, I can't tell you what to do. But what the cards are telling me that you're going to do is that you're going to have the strength to listen to them, to go with the flow, to accept and receive your blessings and your abundance that's coming to you. Okay? Give me a couple more cards for this reading. Mm-hmm. There he goes. There he goes. Coming through with that passionate wand towards you, Aries. The ace of wands, an unexpected sudden event. This is going to shock you when you receive this message from this person because you haven't heard from this person because you cut that person out because they broke your heart. But guess what? That Knight of Cups, that Scorpio, that Pisces, that Cancer, that water sign. Yeah, that water sign. They're coming through. They're definitely coming through with that Ace of Wands. There you go. They see you as their lover. You see that? They see you guys as lovers. They see you as their soulmate. This person is head over heels, heels over you, Aries, and they're coming in fast with that night, um, page of wands. They're coming in fast with a passionate message towards you, okay? Will you accept it? I don't know. That's up to you. Totally up to you. And this, these messages might not even resonate with all of you guys, but for the ones that it resonates with, you will know. You will know if this is your story. You will know if you had a water sign in your past that you still think about because, low-key, I know you still think about them. Because you're soulmates. Mm -hmm. And they see you as their abundance. They, they see you as, as, as their other half. As a power couple. Together making more money. Your money will increase. As, as, as you come into union with your soulmate. Trust me. Your money will increase. You guys will be blessed. Yep. There you go. They see you as the queen of pentacles. Aries. They see you as their queen of pentacles. As an abundant nurturing female in her power, making moves, making money moves, yep. They also see you as their wish, okay, because they're wishing for you because you're emotionally balanced. And they see you as a high priestess, spiritual. They see you um, knowing, intuitively knowing things. They see you as, as evolved, as awakened, okay, in your power, knowing truths, knowing the secrets, Aries. They see you as this spiritual person, and they're coming towards you. And they're coming towards you to offer you love, to offer you a partnership, to offer you money, to offer you gifts. You know? This is a beautiful reading. Yeah, they want to work as a team with you. They see you as their soulmate. They want to work in the team. And they're coming towards you with that Ace of Wands for a very passionate message. So expect a message. <laughs> yep, the King of Wands coming towards you. Very passionate. They're very determined to get you back, Aries. They are very determined to get you back. You could also be dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius person because this is their energy also, okay? Because they're no longer going to have doubts of love. 
They're no longer going to be in doubt about this, this partnership with the Four of Cups. Give me one more message to end this reading. For the sign of Aries, this is a lovely reading. It looks like your soulmate's coming in. You know, they're coming in with a very passionate message towards you. It seems like they've learned a lesson and they're very sorry for because they know they broke your heart. They just want to fix these, this relationship between you guys. And I just feel a lot of passion that this person has for you, Aries. Missing you very, very, very much. Okay? They are missing you. Yeah. Yep. They were confused, Aries. They were confused about this, but now they know who you are. Now they know you're their soulmate. Now they know that you're their divine counterpart. And they're coming towards you. And they're no longer confused. Mm -mm. That King of Wands is looking straight at you. He's coming fast. Okay, Aries. This is a lovely reading, Aries. You know, when you receive this message, just think about me. Because I told you first, this person's coming fast. This person wants to reunite. This person is your lover. Okay, this person really loves you, Aries. One more card. This person really loves you. And they're really sad and regretful for even hurting you or walking away. Yep. They want to bring you the Ace of Pentacles, Aries. And they want to bring you wish fulfillment. And they see you as very abundant. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles. And this has been your reading. Aries, I hope you liked it. I hope it resonates. And I hope you get your wish fulfillment with your lover. Okay? Have a great night. Namaste. Light and love.